Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we have another Is This Pistol Still Relevant video and I've been getting a lot of feedback and I'm certainly enjoying this ongoing series. Last week I featured the Springfield Armory 911. Chambered in 9mm when they came out with this, it was chambered 380, then they came out with it in 9mm and it went in direct competition with the Sig P938. And I I think it's cool. It's got a aluminum frame, three inch barrel, night sights, comes with a six and a seven round magazine. 1911 light controls, it is single action only. And people who love hammer fire guns and they, they want to carry cocked and locked in single action, for a pocket pistol, it's a phenomenal handgun, and that's the feedback that I got. Many people said, why did Springfield discontinue that handgun? It was selling, well, the MSRP was $580 at a time, much lower price than the Sig P938, and Kimber a lot lower than the, the Kimber Micro 9s, but also a little bit smaller, and people said they, they love it. They, they carry it. Many people said they had the 380 model. Some people said they carry the SIG. Several people said, as I'm watching this video, I'm carrying mine right now. So, by and large, they said this is relevant. Should have never been discontinued. Cool handgun. But what I'm featuring today is equally as popular. It's very different, so stick with me on this. This is a Beretta PX4 Storm. Now, this one has been discontinued. It's extremely different. Has the 17 round magazine, full size handgun. But what makes this different, and you can see it's a bit beat up. But I picked this up used. When I went to pick it up, I was expecting a double action, single action handgun. PX4 Storm. Has the rotating barrel. That actually softens the shot quite a bit, but this is a Type D, and that is why I'm asking, is this relevant? Brett discontinued it. They discontinued many of the handguns in the PX4 Storm line, and many people love the Langdon Tactical modifications, but this has none of those. I paid three and a quarter for it at the time, but it is double action only, okay? You can see right there, double action, no safety, no decocker, no no reason for a decocker. And so I was introduced by the previous owner. I was disappointed, but I was like, you know, for three and a quarter, I can't get hurt too bad. So I picked it up, took it to the range, and I was pretty surprised at how well it fired. Had some experience with the PX4 line, not a lot. And I'm like, this double action trigger pull is super heavy. But it's a straight shooter. There's no doubt about that. And that is why many people love the Beretta PX4 line. Okay. The rotating barrel. It's soft. It shoots straight. It's a nice overall handgun. This one is different. Double action only. So that light trigger pull that you're used to with the single action, double action, just isn't here with the Type D model, which explains why they discontinued it. Is it still relevant today? A lot of people say, well, if it goes bang and you can use it for self-defense, absolutely it is relevant. However, would you buy this? Imagine you and I met up and I was selling this for three and a quarter. Would you buy this for three and a quarter, which is what I paid for it several years ago. It's got that nice recoil system, the Double action trigger is heavy. One of the things that makes this a little different here, this click right here, that click right there is not the reset. That would be nice. The reset is right there. Full trigger position, full double action trigger pull. I actually like the handgun, but it's not the type of handgun that I'm going to take out and shoot. I've compared it with other handguns, and I said, you know what? I'm going to hold on to this for a little while because I like it. I don't know if I'm going to hold on to it forever because it's that type of handgun that you enjoy owning, but you don't shoot it too often. And I'm sure you guys have some firearms like that as well. But it's a Type D discontinued. It originally was produced for law enforcement. And then it made its way out to the civilian market. And I, I think it's cool, 
but do you think it's still relevant in today's golden age of handguns where there are just so many choices? Or do you think Breda made a good move by discontinuing it? People said Springfield should have never discontinued this. Do you think Breda should have never discontinued this? Or do you think it's still an outstanding handgun and you would buy it for three and a quarter in a second? I look forward to your feedback. I always do about the Beretta PX4 Storm Type D double action only. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.